Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Zen. Really excited to uh, have this video with you guys today. I'm, I'm here in Florida. It's amazing. I'm really jealous for all you guys that live here. It's a beautiful state. But I have some beautiful things to share with you. We got uh, updates on the Stellar Network. Uh, we have updates on uh, the crypto market as a whole. And then we have a update. Um, my buddy Will share with me some amazing deep dives involving the Bank of Japan the Interledger Protocol, the European Central Bank, connecting a lot of big dots. So uh, it's kind of old news, but I'm gonna share, uh, I'm gonna share this up, share with you guys today. So let's start with this. So this was a recent post on September 21st, 2021. Stellar posted about leveraging on-chain assets to support the Stellar ecosystem. So the CEO is really excited to share this update with everyone. And uh, so basically, at the Stellar Development Foundation. Uh, we are focused on innovative financial support for those building and growing the Stellar Network. So if you've been following my page, you would know that I've been basically sharing all the cool updates that Stellar is building and, and basically how we could take advantage early on all these projects like at the ground level. So make sure to check out some of my old, older videos in the past few weeks. In fact, it's right here in our mandate. So they've actually allocated uh, $57 million in USD uh, via grants to all the different community funds. And, and, and uh, it's their mission to basically help the glo new global financial system. And they, they talk about a few different companies they're supporting. And uh, these are all catalyzing the growth of cross-border payments and international financial services. So they basically they asked themselves how they could do more and today they announced that they've moved 150 million dollars of stellar usdc on chain another step towards supporting the growth and development of the stellar ecosystem ecosystem leveraging on chain let me fix this can't get it leveraging on-chain assets to financially support the ecosystem is another way to show the value of stellar and this is what we've been showing you guys so many projects are building on stellar and creating new pathways for expanding financial inclusion we want to be able to leverage those pathways and we've been showing you all these projects tons of projects being built and uh, more that we probably don't even know about yet with these on-chain assets, we can now help the ecosystem with the tools we already have and continue to add more to our toolbox. To that end, we've, we've heard that the growing demand from the ecosystem partners that debt financing can advance innovative projects, both new and existing on Stellar. The financing will be based in, in Stellar USDC, a fully reserved digital dollar currency issued by Circle and governed by a century. Membership-based that sets technical policies and financial standards for stable coins. So uh, basically they're just excited to accelerate the growth and unlock the potential for the stellar ecosystem with these on-chain assets and, and new tools. This is only the beginning. And that's basically what I've been saying. Like this is only the beginning. We're at the, the very beginning of stages. So yeah, there's going to be these moments when you're investing in something new and, and something innovative where there's ups and downs. XRP, it's been up and down. It's down to, I've seen it go all the way down to about 80 something cents. And, you know, people ask me what my thoughts are, what's going to happen. I have no idea. I have no crystal ball. You know what I'm saying? I have no crystal ball. It could go up. It could go down. I do know word on the street. The rumor that's always been said is before we really take off, there's going to be a big crash, you know, and it's going to shake out a lot of people. And uh, that's always been talked about before the, the real space mission. You know what I'm saying? And And we're talking about intergalactic currencies right now. So, yeah, this is about to be a space mission past to mars and beyond so this is the ceo's uh um 
basically updated what I was just mentioning. She probably sums it up better than I did. So we've just moved $150 million on chain to support the growth and development of the Stellar Network. These on chain assets will be deployed in support of our mandate. And uh, yeah, just exciting. It's exciting. I think 2022 is going to be a massive year. That's why they called it ISO 20022, and we're positioning ourselves now. And uh, let's check out some updates on the Stellar website. So this is pretty relevant. If you check out, uh, the CEO is speaking at this event at CC Summit. So what's CC Summit? These are some of their sponsors, Google, Filecoin Foundation, that's a great kid, Microsoft, Coil. Uh, one of Filecoin isn't great, great, great kid. I said he's invested in it. So Flickr, Red Hat, WordPress.com, California State, Long Beach. So pretty uh, relevant place. Also, I wanted to mention right here, you watched my last video you could find out how to get a free airdrop and uh so this script company remember i told you guys this was a legit this was a legit airdrop and i showed you guys how to set up the trust line to get the airdrop the ybx so now stellar basically has script featured on their page that they're they're part of their stellar community fund projects so they're the real deal so Go watch my previous video on that. So now let's get to the fun stuff. So a buddy of mine shared this with me and and uh, I was going through it tonight. It's pretty exciting. So there's actually a project called Project Stella. Believe that. S-T-E-L-L-A. Stella. And it's a joint research project of the European Central Bank and the Bank of Japan. And this was all the way back in June 2019 synchronized cross-border payments so it's kind of an old uh, old document but it's, it's talking about experimenting with distributed ledgers and it's experiment with the interledger protocol and and um, um, just a lot of really good gems in 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 here so it's project stella bank of japan and we also got the european central bank I love the name too, Project Stella. Like you can't make that up. A DLT project. So this is back in February twelfth, twenty twenty. Project Stella, the ECB and the Bank of Japan released joint report on distributed ledger technology phase four. So they're already in phase four in twenty twenty, February February twelfth. Payment and settlement systems department, Bank of Japan. We know Bank of Japan is XRP. Bank of Japan is so bullish on XRP. The European Central Bank and the Bank of Japan have today released the outcome of their phase four of the joint research on distributed ledger technology and a report on balanced balancing confidentiality and auditability auditability in a distributed ledger environment. So if you go to the, the Google search, you can see tons of different articles on it. I wanted to show you something there. I couldn't find it. They couldn't be more obvious with their language. Okay, so this is what I want to show you. So ADBI Institute wrote this uh, paper, Asian Development Bank Institute. And uh, let me show you basically their conclusion. They talk about a lot here about their main findings.
But they talk about it, or basically, Project Stellar studies the possible use of DLT for M FMIs, including large value central bank RTGS systems, phase one implemented for processing logic of standard liquidity savings me mechanisms. But basically, they're saying uh, this is a lot of like jargon, but if you look down here, as evidenced by increasing research and proof of concept on DLT undertaken by many central banks and securities exchanges in major jurisdictions they are both opportunities and challenges for further exploration so this is a long time ago this is back in 2018 and, they, and right here you can see right here partners with accenture and r3 so it's really little if you guys could see this r3 and accenture that's xrp and probably xlm as well it's all one big ecosystem and they said there's opportunities and challenges. And what are the some of the challenges that have happened? Well, the challenges are, I mean, look, the SEC gets in and there's this big legal battle here in the United States. And there's all this, like, all the, those type of challenges. And what are the opportunities? The opportunities are worth those challenges. So that's why they've kept pushing through and why they're continuing to do all this research. So really good signs. <laughs> so I hope this is building confidence on days like this when the markets are red so you're probably like okay who are adb okay who really cares and this is this big uh development bank it's not like something small go to their twitter page And they're basically like telling governments what to do. Governments in Asia and the Pacific must transform agriculture. And they're like telling them what to do. So obviously these are pretty big time people. The Asian Development Bank. So they know about XRP. They know about Stellar. They know about all this stuff. But guarantee when you're walking down the street and you ask the average Joe if they know about XLM, nobody will even know what the heck that is. No one will probably know what XRP is. So we're super early. So when you're super early, expect the volatility, the ups and downs, the red days. And, and they're really just discounts. And will we continue to dip? I have no idea. Will we go right back up? We could. But uh, let's uh, just enjoy the ride. And, and, and if you really believe in this stuff and you really believe in the technology and none of this is financial advice... If you really believe in in what you're investing in then in my opinion the better the, like let's say here's my philosophy if my favorite clothing store if i walked in and it was 80 percent off i would be happy <laughs> but uh not everybody looks at it this way so let's have a long-term vision we can't really if you're new to the market and this is scary think about it this way you can't really even cash out till the I heard, uh, I'm not a tax expert, but after a year anyways. So you, you technically aren't supposed to cash out till a year later to get the better tax benefits. So, and I, I have no idea about this stuff anyway, so I probably shouldn't talk about it. But anyways, Florida is amazing. I'm gonna post some videos of my first few days here. You, this is like unreal. It's like, it's like a different world out here. COVID doesn't exist. <laughs> it's amazing. So nobody wears mask it's a different world so i love it uh i'm gonna be back here a lot more often but uh, everybody peace